It's a pleasure to present our accept, accepted paper, Robust Certification for Laplace Learning on Geometric Graphs. This is a joint work with Matthew Sock from the University of Manchester. Our paper is available on archive. This work is partially supported by the Department of Energy, the National Science Foundation, and the University of Utah. Let's start from considering the simplest k nearest neighbor class file. We look at the decision boundary of the k nearest neighbor class file for different number of uh, nearest neighbors involved for the prediction. We see that when the nearest neighbor in increases, the decision boundary becomes more and more smooth. And uh, for very small number of nearest neighbor, for instance, when K is one, we see that uh, a small perturbation on the data can fool the class file. This leads us to think about the robustness of K nearest neighbors. How can we quantify them? There is a theoretical result which states that when the nearest neighbor k is big enough, as big as the dimension times the square root of the dimension times the number of data times the log of the number of data, then this k nearest neighbor will be robust. And the, it's as robust as the Bayesian optimal class for in the large sample limit. Well, this is an interesting result. However, it's uh, impractical. Since uh, we consider if D is uh, 1,000, N is uh, some, like in the big data regime is around one minute, this K would be really, really big. So it's not useful in practice. One drawback of k nearest neighbor is that it did not fully utilize the underlying geometry of the data. We want to ask, can geometry of the data improve the robustness of the class file? We consider a special case of semi-supervised Laplace learning. So uh, we have uh, a bunch of data points, omega n, and uh, part of them, a small part of them, gamma n are labeled. So then to get the prediction for the unlabeled data, we basically minimize this directional energy subject to the boundary condition ux equal to this labeled data. In particular, we consider the geometric random graphs in which the, the graph width is uh, parameterized by a function eta epsilon of scale epsilon. This eta is a uh, non-increasing positive function and the eta t is greater than or equal to one for t less than or equal to one and the eta t is equal, equal to zero for t greater than or equal to two. So certainly we want to ask you how Laplace learning improves robustness of the class file. So we have the following theoretical results. First, we define the delta robustness radio. Let DN be a data set of n feature vectors of which a fraction of beta are labeled and DN, DN hat as the perturbed feature vector where the perturbation is at most R in the L2 norm sense. Then we can show that the, we have the supreme of ux uh, and ux hat is less than the delta. Then this delta is called the robust radius. With this definition, we can prove the following result. For the graph Laplace, if the number of nearest neighbors uh, scales as log n, then this graph Laplace would be robust if the perturbation is less than equal to r, i is uh, upper bounded by this constant. Next, we, uh, we look at the numerical performance. We consider two benchmark data sets, half moon and MNIST. We also consider two attacks, direct attack and the kernel substitution attack. So instead, we attack the kernel method and then use this adversary example to test the class file. We see that the graph Laplace is always more robust, to, more robust than the than the nearest labor approach to different attacks. Okay. That's all of our work. 